The principles are extremely important because they draw together the responsibilities of the state, both within the public sector and in relation to private involvement in education. At the moment, there are lots of different documents in international human rights law which talk about different obligations of the state, but they are not adapted to the specific issue of the involvement of private actors in education, which has been a relatively recent phenomenon, but is a phenomenon which could go on and escalate. So the principles are important in reasserting the responsibility of the state to respect, protect and fulfill the right to education. To fulfill the right to education requires that it provide high quality education to every single uh, person in, who needs education within its jurisdiction, to every single individual within its jurisdiction, and that that is free and compulsory for, at the very least, nine years. But at the same time, the principles are important because they reaffirm the responsibility of the state to regulate private sector uh, participants in the educational sector. So there is a right to establish private uh, institutions. There is a right for parents to choose to go to to send their children to private institutions, but those institutions need to be regulated closely by the state in order to be sure that they themselves uh, conform to the human rights standards that are set for all institutions, whether public or private. And the principles are extremely important in bringing together these two uh, sides of the state responsibility to provide good quality education in its own right and to regulate private sector involvement in education so that they also achieve these high quality standards, that they don't discriminate, that they are equally available to everyone regardless of socioeconomic status and that they are accountable to the community.